I don't know about you, but do you ever notice uh, things that cross your path that seems like somebody has arranged it for you to learn something? I notice this all the time. And, you know, I guess coincidences, law of attraction, synchronicity, there's lots of words for this. But I notice that it happens to me when I'm really uh, more involved in my art, or at least my thinking is more involved with my art. Uh, I just had this crazy one happen to me recently. I don't know if you guys remember, but uh, I don't know, about six or seven months ago, I, I got Bell's palsy. I think I did a, I'm sure I did a vlog where Bell's palsy is this condition that, that your, your face kind of goes numb and you can't really like smile and it's, it's kind of weird and it usually goes away. Uh, but not always, <laughs> um, but it, it looks like you've had a stroke. And it comes, they don't totally know why, but they think it's because of stress. And for me, uh, I was really stressed out what, what I was doing and I was being pretty hard on myself. And, you know, and usually I can kind of like muscle through things. But at this time, when this happened, it was just a lot was going on for me. And, and so that happened. And it was, a, it was kind of an amazing wake up call, you know, like, we push ourselves and we're so hard on ourselves and we got to make everything right. And I have all this, you know, uh, expectations and we have to be so perfect. And this thing, getting this Bell's palsy really stopped me. It really slowed me down. It, it made me take things off my plate and, and, and it went away, uh, which was really, really great. And, but I learned a lot from it, but you know, then <laughs> things kind of like pick up again, you're going and I kind of like dodge that bullet, you know, and, um, but then and here's the synchronicity part. Here's the thing that came across my path. I'm a member of this book club and I never have times to even like, I start some of the books. Occasionally I'll get through one of them, but this book arrived and it was sitting on my, uh, kitchen table for a couple of weeks, I was just so busy, you know, and it had this drawing of a face on it. And, um, I didn't, I didn't really even pick it up. And then it was a few weeks later, uh, that I just was sitting there having dinner and I thought, what, what is this book? You know, and I opened it up and it's this book, it's called the story of a face and the, uh, writer's name is Sarah rule. And it's a story of a woman who came down with Bell's palsy, like, and, and, and this was super challenging for her because, you know, it's a story about imperfection. This it didn't go away for her. Like it stayed and she's an artist and a writer and, um, a screenwriter, a, a, a playwright. And I didn't even know what Bell's palsy was when I got it. I had never even heard of this. And I get this book that's a whole rumination on, on this condition and, and imperfection and, and she just, it just became this huge thing in her life. And it's a beautiful book. Um, and just the learning that came from it, but it, it reminded me and taught me so much more about what I went through, how that happened, how that book you know, just was sent to me out of all the books. Um, so I love this kind of thing. And I'm curious, uh, if you experience this, I know that we're going to have a lot of really interesting comments. I can't wait to read about some of the synchronicities that have happened to you on this journey. I think it's just the most amazing thing. This week on Wednesday's uh, podcast release, I'm interviewing Kim Kranz. She's this amazing author, um, musician, uh, artist, and her whole world is, is about this the underlying kind of hidden meanings of things. She did this next level tarot deck that I happened to come across. Uh, she did this a number of years ago, but it's, it's an amazing tarot deck, which is not something that I have a lot of, but I ended up picking a card and it was incredible. So then I reached out to her and then we connected. Anyway, I'd love you to come and listen to this. She's incredible. Um, and that's coming out on Wednesday. Anyway, I hope your day is going really, really good and that you're um, in the studio at least part of the time. And again, we have the free Art to Life Artists Facebook group. 
tons of people in there doing amazing things all over the world, super supportive, and everyone's invited. If you haven't joined, there's a link down below. Check it out, um, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks so much for being here. Okay. Hey everyone, if you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share, and inspire you with every single week. So join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, let's do this. Awesome.